So you guys really believe that there is, should, need, should there be any kind of friendship between male and female? Yes, that's what I believe. <laughs> okay. Why? Um, is that a rule? It depends what you mean by friendship. Okay. Right? Um, typically, when you say friendship, you, it means you hang out socially, for n really for no reason, you just hang out socially. Um, and I find that when that happens, boundaries are almost certainly going to be crossed. Whether you, whether you try to keep the boundaries or not, um, and then you're going to be in situations where you're alone with that person, whether you want to or not. So it's something that I think should be avoided. But I think that it's, um, it's important to have cordial relationships, good relationships with men in your field, with uh, men in your organization, um, and you talk and you interact freely, um, freely, uh, like professionally and um, with goodness and kindness, but not... Okay, you have a, 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 a basically someone studying with you. Mm -hmm. Got in a car accident. Would you go visit him in the hospital? Um, I guess it depends. Um, maybe if I took somebody else with me. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't want to say no. I will never interact with you, at, like for anything other than this specific job. But if that visit is going to bring benefit, um, and I have someone with me, so I make sure that I'm not alone, um, then I don't see why not. Okay. Very good. Uh, you know what? I need help for you, from you to send me maybe notes or something of that. So the relationship in, in a, like what you said, a good a treatment, but it doesn't need to be in a, a, a friendship in a sense that we're too close to each other, uh, you know, our secrets with each other, we hang out with each other, because uh, that not how the relationship between male and female, not related to each other, defined Islamically. I, I, I agree 100% with that. Yeah, anything you want to add? The whenever these lines are crossed, what do you have seen the result as a teacher? Do you teach in public school or Islamic school? Uh, both. Both, okay. <laughs> I have both experiences, public and uh, Islamic, um, children and adults. So it's like, um, I would say there's a big impact, you know, if you are not keeping the boundaries and limits. Of course, there is always a chance of an accident. So anything can happen when there are two opposite genders are alone or they have the relationship outside the school, or on the phone, even you know, just talking, chatting. Uh, I would say that um, there are so many you know, um, bad results of all these relationships, where you know, the girl can be um, you know, reputed that she's not a righteous woman if somebody, you know, all the you know, friends even sees her with a boy, and then later on in her life, you know, it's a problem to get a good proposal from a guy because even guys' perspective, they don't like it. They would not like it if there, is, there are uh, righteous men around in the community. They would not like a, you know, girl okay. who is going well, with it can be different from one culture to another. I don't, think, I don't know about these days. Yeah, but Islamic so perspective, they would not really appreciate that. Okay, so that's my kind of... Have, uh, <laughs> hmm? They hang out with girls. She said, what about the man if he hang out with the girls? Would he have a bad reputation? If they have... Because we have in this culture, like, men can go away with everything. No. You know, we, we have a say where he came from. Uh, they said, man, nothing can shame him. But woman, anything can shame her. And I think that's not fair. That's not fair. That's not right. That's not right. No. I think man can be shamed. Of course. Very, very true. And before, before even you getting married, you have the right to ask the guy's family that what kind of boy he is, like, what is his habits, what's her, his activities. So by that, you really you know, can see that he's hanging around with the girls or he have, you know, like, so we, what kind of interest? Going to coffee shops, having homework together, w staying late in the night, working together or studying together, all this opened the door for shaitan. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, w even if the intention is good and open the door. And Islam teaches us something very interesting. We don't wait until the problem happens. We close the door way before problems happen. That we call bab saddu dhara'a. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, wala taqrabu zina. He didn't say, don't commit, you know, don't come closer. That's why you're not allowed to look at somebody's aura. You're not, look at, you're not allowed to touch some because it might lead to something. Not because if I touch a woman, khalasa, we, you know, that's what I'm going to do the haram. No, it is because that what can lead to something not uh, allowed. So this is very important to keep in mind that the Sharia's rules are not also because we don't trust you, but because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows our nature, knows how we are as human beings and how the shaitan works as well. And that's why we see when this rule is not followed, we have problems of teenage, teen pregnancies, teenage pregnancy, a big, huge problem, you know, uh, uh, rape, uh, you know, get drunks and get uh, raped in schools and, and all these problems, it happened because these guidelines are not followed. Uh, uh, that would Sharia provide, Islam provide for us. Very good. But in the same time, 
it is not haram for a woman or a sister in school to ask her co-worker or her, her colleagues to share notes with her, maybe even explain something to her, what did this mean in a setting or a group discussions or something of that nature. Very easy. And by the way, I want to say that this is not only to school, even in the religious environment, sometimes in the MSA, sometimes in the message youth group, yes. these guidelines not followed and not respected. So it's not only in public schools, sometimes in Islamic schools, and, and these rules has, should be respected in any environment. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes when we think because I'm in the masjid or I'm a youth group or uh, working in the organization, I'm going to lower my guard. So the shaitan attack me even more. Uh, in the family, when you have cousins, cousins around, very you good. feel like, oh, they are my cousins. I, I can mm -hmm. sit, uh, sit with them, chat with them overnight and have fun, you know. But they, you know, we forget that these are not our mahrams. So yeah. we have to keep the boundaries the, again. The, 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 the proper etiquette in Islam. Yeah. Very well said. Every question ever asked about women's fiqh is answered in this online course. But if you want to challenge that, you have live Q&A sessions to ask what hasn't already been asked. Click on the button and get access to your student portal before that window closes.